praying for our nation. Hi, my name is Mark Mirza. I'm the founder of Common Thread Ministries and the Georgia State Coordinator for the National Day of Prayer. We do a lot of praying for our nation, don't we? Um, I had the opportunity to lead Charles Stanley's men's prayer ministry for four and a half years. One of the great things about that was that uh, twice a month he would give us a quick 10, 15 minute devotional before we would go into an hour of prayer. There are a number of things that he has said that I'll always remember, but one of them has gripped me a lot lately. He said, God doesn't always show you what will happen. Do you know why? He asked us that question. Do you know why God doesn't always show you the future? He said, because sometimes you just couldn't handle it. Pretty sobering, huh? Very sobering, actually. Every Friday morning, I have the opportunity to pray with a uh, church planter here in Atlanta. And this last Friday, I loved the fact that he talked about the second coming of the Lord and prayed for it and was looking forward to it. And his passion for it caused me, when he got done, to pray for him that, Lord, I pray that my friend will never lose that passion for the second coming of the Lord. You see, here's what I think we forget often. We know that life is going to be hunky-dory. Life is going to keep going on. We're going to be in airplanes. Jesus is going to come, and then all hell is going to break loose on the earth. That's not correct. You see, what Jesus said is that if you want to know what things are going to be like when I come, things are going to be as bad as they were in Noah's time. So whether you pre-trip, mid-trip, or post-trip, I don't really care. That's not the point. The point is this. Life is going to get worse and get worse and get worse and get worse. Jesus will come, and then it'll get a lot worse. Here's my question. That's all of this is just simply to ask you this question. When you are praying for our nation, are you praying your will or have you sought the Lord for his will? I think we spend a lot of time praying our will. And I think the reason we do not seek the Lord for his will is because we're afraid that's exactly what he'll give us, his will. So the next time you get ready to pray for our nation, Ask the Lord what his will is. And then, I hope you're gutsy enough to pray that which you believe God is telling you. I love you. Have a great day.